talk about this? I agree. Good morning. Today we have a special tribute episode to Chadwick Boseman. On August 28th, the world found out that Chadwick Boseman was having a private fight with colon cancer. He lost, and we lost him. It's sad and unfortunate, and this is a very, I'm not even gonna front, this is probably one of the hardest episodes that I'm doing right now. It's, I don't know, this year has been real tough. It's been a tough, 2020 has been a tough year for all of us. And we lost a really great person. Chadwick Boseman was our Black Panther. We loved him. We loved the movie. The movie infused within culture. It made, it was the first time in my life that comic books were like cool. Like it was the thing, it was cool. He came in and did his thing with that role. I, I'm i not really ready to even speculate what Marvel's gonna do. I'm not in that place to have that conversation. But what we will do is we're gonna highlight the f figures from the Black Panther movie that Hasbro put out. A lot of excellent figures. And one thing about that series period that a lot that I don't know if people are aware that was the first series that had every figure be a movie figure the Mbaka wave every one of those figures were movies that's unheard of usually they'll have a comic book styled figure every one of these were the movie and the, the series was amazing those figures the details they put into those figures the face sculpting now I, leave me alone. I know that that Black Panther the, looks like the guy from Next, but this other, the other head scope was decent. And I know they were just gonna get better. They, they, they're gonna improve it. So I know the next Black Panther figure that comes out, we should have a decent Chadwick Boseman head scope. At least give us that. Anyway, we're gonna talk about Black Panther figures. Stick around. Today we're going to talk about some notable figures from both the Black Panther Marvel Legends waves that were released. Right here I have Nakia, Eric Killmonger, and Black Panther himself. And that's definitely not the head that goes on this Black Panther, but if you see the other head, he definitely, this one definitely looks better. I don't know who this guy thinks he is. This dude look like the guy from Next. Okay, let's start with um, Eric Killmonger. He was actually, this figure is actually my 2018 number one figure of the year. I, I actually love this figure. One thing about this Black Panther, the Black Panther wave is the incredible amount of detail each of these figures have. None of this stuff is painted on. All of these little 
metal details in the mask. That's all sculpting. This sculpted. Sculpted. They really... It felt like with these figures, somebody had something to prove. Let's go over the articulating points of this Eric Killmonger figure. And the head up and down, horizontal and vertical. Shoulders. This is the butterfly shoulders. And I'm going to make a note that I wasn't a, a MCU movie figure guy until that Guardians of the Galaxy wave. However, once this Black Panther wave came out, I was all in. And a lot of people tend to sleep on the MCUs. They only collect the comic book versions. This was one figure that you needed to have in your collection. Because not only is this was this 2018 figure of the year to me, this is one of their best figures of all times. Look at these details in here. Let me bring that closer. Beautiful paint job. And it's a very simple figure. Nothing too complicated. It's just that they took their time and the details in these figures. Look at this. Everything sculpted from the from the gold hands, from the fingertip claws. Now my issue is it didn't come with the Eric Killmonger head, but what we do now, what we know now, they solved that because we got that two pack with Eric Killmonger and that agent, which came with a Eric Killmonger head. And then we got a Eric Killmonger figure. Okay, back to articulation. We had the butterfly shoulders up and down, bicep swivel, double elbow, hinge and ball wrists, abdomen, torso back and forth. Fourth waist, thigh, ball joint. Do we have the thigh rotating, double knee, ankle rocker, rocking, rocking ankle, hinge back and forth. And there you have it. Let's go with the Nakia figure and start from the top. Beautiful face sculpt, beautifully done. Hair, and my main thing with toys back in the day, they never got African-American features correct, but they, Hasbro managed to do it with these Black Panther figures, beautiful. Let's start with the articulation. Neck, left, right, horizontal, vertical, up and down, shoulder, no bicep swivel, but you know, Marvel Legends, for some reason, they don't think females should have double elbows. It's okay. Um, but you get this rotating in the, I guess you'd call it the elbow joint. You get the back and forth. And then you get the rotating. And you have the, for the hands, hinge and rotating. Torso, you have right here, back and forth. Which, something about these fi particular figures, it, for the first time in the history of action figures that I had, there's a they feel so smooth. It's like this weird, it kind of glides. It glides. Where some figures, they just move stiff. But these were, man, I'm telling you, slept on, slept on. <laughs> Details, like it's all detail, all detail. And this was, mind you, this was the 1999 price point figure. The price didn't go up with these. Details, with look, details upon details. Okay, you have the thigh ball thigh, rotating thigh, double knee, no rotation here, but you do have the hinge, not the hinge, I'm sorry, the ankle hinge, yeah, ankle hinge and rocker, which led to some beautiful posing. And as far as MCUs, this is the uh, Nakia, AKA Dormage. It's probably one of my favorites. I just, they just look so good. And it's very, very, extremely close to the film. Another beautiful figure from this series. I just wanted to bring about the Black Panther 
vibranium suit. It's it's basic. It it's the first Black Panther with a, with some tweaks to it. Helmet, all new parts, sculpted. One, I'm telling you, I can't stress enough. One thing that made this Black Panther series of figures so official were the details that they put in the sculpting of each of these figures. No half stepping at all. Sculpting. This is all individual sculpting. Paint paint job, beautiful, the gold. And this is the first Black Panther that we were introduced in the Civil War series. They just tweaked the body. They added these pants to it. I'm not sure whose pants these are. Usually I can tell, I'm not sure. The gold cloth, but the most impressive thing about this figure to me was the Kente cloth. How, man. <laughs> I don't own, I would have never thought as a kid that I'd have a figure in Kente cloth. Very beautifully done. And this isn't sculpt. All this is sculpting. And this is the Vibranium Black Panther from the Series 2 Black Panther wave. Okay, here we go. We have our first Black Panther figure from the MCU. And this figure actually isn't from the Black Panther series at all. This is from the Civil War movie. He went hard in that too. This one, I found this one very stiff. I'm not mad at this figure at all because they still kept the details of this figure done, which are done very well. I felt like it could have been articulated better, but looking back in hindsight, it's still beautifully done. It's almost a nitpick to complain about it. And then the Black Panther figure felt like they solved a lot of the issues that they had with that figure because Hasbro does listen to their fans, believe it or not. It sounds, it just based off what I see, they do listen. And this one felt, this one felt more fluid. Still, one, one thing, I guess the big thing with these Black Panther figures is the details that they put into them based off the costumes alone and they could have easily skimped on this but they didn't look at this look at that even the helmet these are all detail lines all details even if the top can you see that i hope you guys can see this look at this in here details upon details upon details now he was thin this guy was thin but i i, I still enjoyed this figure a lot we even got a repaint in another series and it added the purple lines to them. If I can get that up. Same figure, it came with that, with that other head. I don't, I don't use it on him because it just doesn't look like him at all. But I do. This one looks more like Chadwick Boseman to me. It, it, it's, it's, it's closer than the other one. But if you can, if you're lucky enough to pick one of these up now, considering what happened, good luck. <laughs> good luck because the price has gone up on these. And there you have it. Just some notable highlights from the Black Panther series figures. Those were great figures, hands down, and they stand the test of time. Even today, they still would be competitive figures. Actually, that Killmonger was my 2018 figure of the year. It still can hold its own. It still holds its own very well. Now, on another note, just to change gears a little bit, I see I see on the social medias that everyone's complaining that the Black Panther figures are going up. They say when an artist dies, his work goes up in price. That's what's going to happen. You have to deal with it. That's part of the game. It's part of what we do. Stop acting like you did not expect that to happen. Now you want the figures. You're gonna have to pay the, the price for them now. Deal with that or don't. I don't know, it's up to you. They were, they're great figures, even without the tragedy that's surrounding them. They're great figures. Get them if you can. I, I, I highly recommend them from day one. From day one, I highly recommend them. So go ahead, check them out, get them, good luck. <laughs> good luck getting them. This is a tough episode, I do not like, um, ugh. Chadwick Boseman was an amazing actor. He played Jackie Robinson, like he's great, and we lost a great one. 
Kevin's got another angel. Everyone feels like they're, uh, I don't know, a, 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 a writer from Marvel where they want to speculate, oh, what what are we going to do? What's Marvel, what's Marvel going to do now that Chadwick Boseman has passed away? Is Shuri going to take the mantle? What? First of all, I'm not even in that space to even discuss that. I'm still like reeling over his death because it's so sad. And he embodied that character so much, man. Like, I when I read it, the comic book, I read it in his voice. He did he did what Robert Downey Jr. did for Iron Man for Black Panther. Now with today's technology, we could always we can still get Chadwick Bozeman. It, the technology is there, but I don't want to speculate. It's so many things that's so off about saying that. Just mor- moral and just like, is it moral? The morality of using a, a digital version of a human being after they passed away just seems, it seems, I don't know, it seems off to me. But who knows? We'll see. Um, Marvel. They haven't let us down yet with with their plan. I, I'm confident that they'll do something. But right now, let's just um, let's appreciate Chadwick for what he did for that role. We don't let's not let's not rush to for his replacement yet. Have some goddamn tact. Anyway, that's the episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate all of you. We'll be back next week with some different figures.